Jun and Junpei talked a little more and then went back to their investigation. But even as they did, his mind went back to what she'd told him. Ice that wouldn't melt. Even in the desert! Could such a thing really exist? No. Even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? The more he thought about it, the more his head hurt. Like I feel about this game. Like he'd eaten his ice cream too fast. Great metaphor. Okay, can we actually get to the room escaping? That'd be nice. It's a light blue blanket with some designs on it. Someone's made the bed or at least never unmade it. There's only bed sheets underneath the blanket. Not, nothing exciting. Anything other than pillows. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, look, June. There's uh, there's two pillows right next to each other. Guess it's a devil. <laughs> huh? What's up? You're turning red. Oh man, is her fever back? Hey, are you alright? Do you need to lay down for a minute? Oh, I'm fine. I think it's still a little early for that. Huh? Hey, seriously, are you really okay? What? It's crazy misunderstanding. It's a bottle with water in it. Is the water frozen? This is a bedroom. No shit, Sherlock. They probably have it here because your throat always feels dry when you wake up. Mine doesn't. Am I just weird? Is my throat just naturally moist? My throat's dry, but I think that's because I'm a little nervous right now. But well, we did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy, do you want to take a shower together? Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Too late to take it back. This is... You, just, you can just feel the electricity in the air. Some sizzling dialogue. My throat was dry already. This sure isn't helping. Hey! Ho -ho. <laughs> it's light. Even if it's heavy? That's light! What the fuck just happened? A wooden cupboard. There are cups inside, surprising no one. Jeez, you don't have to be so down on it. Nothing left in the frame. Uh, no, and nothing else on the bed I think that we can expect, inspect. Ooh, okay. Anything in this drawer? Ooh, key! A dresser key! Alright. It's a dresser. There's nothing on top. This is a mirror for the dresser. And now she's playing with her hair. Does she even realize she's doing that? Hey! We don't have time for that! Apparently we have time for weird, long discussions about mummer- the mummies and really bad flirting. But sitting down and looking in the mirror, just no, we have no time for that. Come on! It's not like there's anyone here you need to impress! Yes, there is. Is, is there someone else in the room? Who could you possibly be talking about? What? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Ah, forget it, Jumpy. Some great banter. Some peak banter right here. The chair that goes with the dresser. There's nothing particularly interesting about it. It's a light. Thanks to it, we can see. What's this down here? Is that just the bed? Okay, uh, yeah, sorry. I doubt it'll be all that useful. Oh, sorry, Oops. let's go back. Alright, uh, so that's that room we've been in. Let's try this one now. Jumpy, where are you going? Uh, I was thinking of going over to Lotus's room. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm just gonna go check up on him. Is there something wrong with that? Well, no. 
come back soon. Sure thing. I'll leave the rest to you. Sure. Leave it to me. Alright, off to the other room. I actually did not want to go there, but I guess now I'm there. Can I go back? What's up? You're going back already? Well, I can't just leave June there by herself. Huh. What, you think you're her, 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 her knight or her protector or something? You're creeping me out. You're kind of creeping me out, too. Whatever, man. I'm going. Yeah, I was not done here. I did not mean to. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, let's go in here. That's the bathroom wall. There are square tiles all over it. There's a little blue platform protruding from the shower wall next to the knobs. It's for putting soap on. I used to shower once, so I know. <laughs> That's the shower knob. Let's see if anything happens when we turn it. No water's coming out. But the shower head. It's just a shower head. There's nothing special about it. That's awfully judgmental. We've all got geometric shapes on them. Jumpy, do you think there might be something on the shower curtain? Huh? Uh, well, maybe. You want to try closing? There doesn't seem to be anything here. Yeah, you're right. Oh, sorry, that was June. Let's put it back. Maybe if we get, like, into the shower, we'll see something. Now let's check the toilet. There's nothing there. The tank empties, too. There isn't even any water in it. A collection of full and partially depleted rolls of toilet paper. Someone was well prepared. There's nothing too suspicious about it. Okay. What? Okay, that's the shower head. Shower head, it feels dry too. That probably means no one's used it in a long time. Shower curtains, huh? Let's try closing. Yep, nothing. Now, I can see the full expanse of the shower curtain in all its waterproof glory. There's nothing suspicious. It's just a normal old shower curtain. A narrow shower. And I'm standing in it with June. Whoa! This is awkward. Time to open the curtain! Yay! Okay, so there's nothing written on either side of the shower curtain. So that's officially kind of ruled that out. Uh, yeah. Why don't we go back to the living room? Okay. Let's go back. I don't think that there are any more rooms. Oh, sorry. We can really check out here. So I think I'm done. So I'm gonna go over there. The exit. Lotus and Santa are in the room on the other side. I'm gonna go check up on them. Looks like a valuable vase. Empty though. Seems to be a room on the left side of the vase. It's a tile with a black and white pattern on it. Huh. There's a square tile in this frame. It's glued in there quite well. I don't think you can... Sorry, let me try and get Lotus's voice now. It's glued in there quite well. I don't think you can take it out. So maybe we have to uh, find the tiles and then make it look like the other one in the other room. Well, this is a display case. Check it out. These plates and shit look really expensive. You want to take a look? Ah, uh, this tile. I think I've seen it somewhere before. Yeah, I know. Kind of looks like the one we saw in the other room. There's a tile with a black and white pattern on it sitting in the display case. Damn! Guess this is the wrong key. Well, that means there's got to be another one somewhere around here. Otherwise, we aren't going to be able to open this thing. There are a number of expensive looking plates in here. That vase looks pretty expensive. There are a number of expensive looking plates in here. What about this bowl? Ceramic and porcelain. Still locked. 
Shit! It's not opening! Alright, you grab that side of the table and I'll get the other. Let's smash this bitch open! I don't think that's going to work. That looks like tempered glass. I don't think throwing a table at it is going to break it. Jesus, you have to ruin all our fun. A candle for candlestick. This might come in handy. Okay, I get it. So now we do that, plus that. Oh, well, I know! If I use these matches to light the candle... Booyah! We now have a lit candle. We win. Hey, check this out! This is a pretty nice sofa. I know. It's a shame I can't take it back with me. I'm worried that June and Lotus's voices are sort of blending together, so I'm trying to make them a bit more distinctive. Well, awesome! The light from the candle. Maybe we can take a look around over there. But it gets so hot when I hold it. I want to put it down. But why don't you set it on top of the dresser? It's flat there. At least it won't fall over. Oh yeah! Good idea! I still have not gotten their voices right. It's still early, so give me some time to get all the kinks ironed out, so to speak. Hey! Got pretty bright! Now we can look around a little. Alright, anything in the key drawer? The dresser drawer? It's locked. Well, lucky me, I got a key. Hey, let's see if this... Yes! Yes, it worked! And we got another tile. Okay, there was a tile inside this drawer. Nothing else besides a tile, though. Tiles, yeah, it's kind of shit. I need to stop pressing it. Uh, wait, can we just, like, select the mirror? This is the mirror for the dresser. Damn straight! Nothing weird about it, though. There's a lit candle sitting on top of the dresser. It's a chair for the dresser. It's a light, man. Can't you figure that out on your own? Hard to tell if it's burned out or not. Of course, now that we have the candle, I guess it doesn't really matter that much anymore. Ooh, we got a curtain. Okay. Anything under the blanket? Nope, nothing suspicious here. Two pillows in a pile. What? Did I miss something? Uh, pile o pillows. Is that was that supposed to be funny? Is that supposed to be some kind of joke? Hey, calm down. It's a, it's a real knee slapper right there. Oh, ooh. Huh? Hey, what the hell? It just got dark all of a sudden. Maybe the candle got blown out. We should go see. There's a candlestick covered in mint melted wax at the top of the dresser. Hey, what's this? The top of the candlestick looks kind of weird. You're right. Sorry, I, I'm getting the voices mixed up again. Ah, voices are hard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decrease the volume of the music. I feel like that's really bad. Not that low. Ooh. That right here. That's good. You're right. It's all bumpy. Candlestick key. All right. Uh, fortunately, now we can't. Can we look now? This stuff, it's too dark to search for anything. Ah, shucks. Okay. Maybe the candlestick key will work on this? Oops, sorry. No, it's not. We don't care about that. What about this? Let's see if this candlestick key will do anything. Yes! It opens! Alright! Pull that shit open! 
We open the door. We got the plate. Hey, Junpei, got a minute? Santa had shown up out of nowhere and gave Junpei no small start. Here, take this. Santa pulled something out of his pocket. Uh, thanks, Santa. Is this what I get for Christmas? It looked like a bookmark. It had a four-leaf clover in it. What? What is this? I found it in between some of the cushions on the sofa. Pretty sure it ain't gonna be any help to us, but I figured we might as well hang on to it anyway. Why don't you hold on to it? Santa gave him a wry smile. You know what I hate most in the world? I got four things. Hope, faith, love, and, uh... Luck! Yeah, I forgot what the last one was. Hope, faith, love, and luck? Damn straight! And you... hate these things? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Okay. Uh-huh. Well, you're very edgy, aren't you? Um, not really, but... Junpei tried to figure out how best to phrase what he wanted to say. What does a bookmark have to do with any of that? Santa scratched the back of his ear and looked awkward. Well, see... Each leaf on the four-leaf clover has a meaning to it, okay? And that meaning is pretty much those four words. It's like a flower language. Well, I guess it's not a flower, is it? So, so a leaf language, I guess. Yeah, you could call them leaf words. Leaf words? Junpei looked at the bookmark. Hope, faith, love, and luck. So yeah, I want you to take it, okay? Just touching it gives me the creeps. Take the damn thing, alright? Santa pretended to shiver with disgust and shoved the bookmark into Junpei's confused hands. Junpei, what do you want to do? Well, I mean, I'm not going to refuse a gift. So just, sure, yeah, why not? Decided to take it. After all, why shouldn't he? All right, sure, I guess I'll take it. Thanks. <laughs> Phew. Man, I feel a lot better now. That thing was a real pain, you know? Do you really hate those four words that much? Yeah, well, they can all betray you, you know? Hope, faith, love, even your destiny. What had happened to Santa, Junpei wondered. How had he become such a bitter person? I just think it's adolescent angst. I would have to be my diagnosis. For a moment, they looked at each other. Well, that's not my only reason. What? That's not the only reason I hate the four-leaf clover. I just can't bring myself to like the number four. What, are you worried about the four horsemen? Nah. Come on, man, that's just silly. Maybe back in the Dark Ages, that kind of crap scared people. But this is the 21st century, and I'm a 21st century guy. Hey. Jesus, you should really uh, meet June over in the next room. I'd love to see the discourse between those two on the subject of frozen ice and frozen corpses and mummies and curses. Why do you hate four so much? Because it's a half-ass number. Not the best or the worst. That's why. What? Nine is a way better number. So what if it's last place, right? At least it's not some lame-ass middle number. Santa's explanation made no sense. Junpei was even more confused than before. You play? Play? 
I think he means gambling. Actually, I don't think he means either, but I feel like Junpei would immediately assume the stock market. You mean, like, the stock market? Nah, that's not what I mean. Why the hell would you think that? I mean, yeah, I do socks too. I, uh, you know, I work with JP Morgan, you know? <laughs> I'm all about those equity loans. I'm heavily invested in, uh, you know, Microsoft. You know, I got my whole portfolio set up. Got a nice return. This last statement, more or less thrown away by Santa, caught Junpei very much by surprise. You? A stockbroker? Yeah. Got a problem with that? No, you just, you just don't look like the type. What Junpei didn't say, of course, was that he didn't think Junpei looked smart enough to be a stockbroker. Really judgmental, aren't you, Junpei? Man, that sucks just like gambling, you know? All you gotta do is bet on the winning horse. Nothing that hard about it. You sure sound pretty confident. So are you betting on winning horses? Of course I am. You remember a couple of years back when the stock for Cradle Pharmaceuticals shot through the roof? Oh yeah, that was one of my fondest memories. Sack a few bills over that, if I do say so myself. Uh-huh. Uh-huh was all Junbei could think of. He never even heard of Cradle Pharmaceutical. Hmm, is that that's in brackets. Is that significant? Are we gonna find out like Oh wow, Mountain worked for... Oh, sorry, no, he's not Mountain anymore, he's um... What is he? I already forgot. But yeah, the big dude is gonna work for Cradle Pharmaceutical and we're gonna be like, oh shit, there was a connection there. Or maybe it's a thing where, uh... Like we're all rich people? So maybe he made his money playing the stock market? And... Uh, is Dream Pay well off? He's a student, right? And he's in college. He had a fairly nice apartment. It wasn't super dingy or anything. We don't know where he was. It could be at a like fairly nice Ivy League sort of place. So he could be kind of flush with cash. And if he went to like a really elite elementary school, like private ass academy, full of snooty people, it could explain uh, why June is here too, because she could be rich. Okay, that, that, that could be a theory. Maybe he just hates the rich, and that's why he trapped a whole bunch of rich folk on a replica of the Titanic. And forced them to play a whole bunch of weird games and stuff. Yeah, that doesn't really make sense, but let's go with it for now. Fortunately, he was saved quickly from further embarrassment. Hey, how long are you going to stand around wasting time? Stop screwing around. The voice screaming at them from the other room was unmistakably Lotus's. Junpei and Santa looked at each other. The lady has spoken. Santa sighed. We better get back to work before we really piss her off. I don't want her beating me up. And with that, Santa walked off. Slowly. Hey, wait! We weren't done! He started after Santa intended to catch him, but... Lotus appeared from the next room, blocking his path. Her posture suggested she was not about to let him pass. There was nothing for it he had lost. Okay, okay, I'll get back to work, damn it. Her glare suggested any other choice would not have ended pleasantly for him. And Junpei mumbled to himself under his breath and went back to his search. We got